Okay, so apply configuration. Come over here. If busy, send it to IVR. Submit. So this is for extension 1001. So if we dial 1001, So that was our what we set up for the IVR. We'll press one, and it should send us to the voicemail. The person at extension one zero zero two is on the phone. Please leave your message. So you can see you've customized it. Everything. So many things you can do. I can't even touch touch on everything. Um, let's see. Can't stress to you enough though, the module admin. Check, download all upgrade. Download all upgrade process. There's nothing left. So if you come back over here to settings, um, reports, and you come system that's system status. Um, you can go ahead and exit that. Um, so no email address for online um, update check. So admin um, general tab they will continue to show up here. General settings update mail uh, Dot com. Check for updates, yes, so it'll email you whenever you get an update. Apply configuration. Come back to reports. Go over to system status. And you have to clear it. So it won't show that anymore. That's not important. We, we did set that. We're not using um, the default uh, password anymore. We're not using the default admin anymore. We changed that. So that leaves just this right here. So if we go over here to freepbx.org, come over to community, come to forums, general help, Hmm, let's see. Click back. Back, back. Forms. Let's see. Minister Free PBX. Okay, so you cannot administer free PBX. This is how you re you remove that uh, system link that system link failure. You. Open up the terminal to the machine, or if you have uh, direct access to it, you can just open this up. Um, come in here and type in just what it says M V slash H E C slash asterisk. Um, slash logger dot con. You're gonna move it to etc slash asterisk slash logger dot con dot back. Okay, so you do that. And what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get 
free PBX to somehow reload. And the, re the way I did that is you go to extensions, go to the second one, and just type something stupid. Just change something subtle to get it to reload. Type submit, apply configuration, go to reports, um, system status, and now you see the system link error is gone. So that's how you take care of that. This is just a basic um, explanation of how you install CentOS 5, Astro some 3 PBX, and get it up and running. Um, if you have any questions or comments or, or anything, please, I know this is very long, tedious, but at least it gets you um, familiar with everything in free PBX. If you, I mean, if you have a, a good learning curve, it's not hard to do. It just takes a little time. If you want to use external extensions, you have to remember you have to open ports on your firewall. Um, all the ports are natively open on CentOS 5, so everything else should be taken care of. I hope you enjoyed this, and have a nice day.